All right, guys, today I want to talk to you about long haul versus short haul and how it affects rate per mile, okay? All right, you guys, so this is by no means like based on aggregates, massive amounts of data. This is just based on what I've seen, my experience. So about three, three and a half years of driving hotshot, uh, the same hotshot. Uh, and so this is basically what I'm sharing just, just off of my experience alone. So I made this little chart and on the X axis, <laughs> it's miles on the Y axis, it's rate per mile. Okay. And recently I made a video, I think it was the, um, half the weight, half the rate video, how to partial out a hotshot. Uh, people were saying two bucks a mile is kind of low. Now I want you to understand that two bucks a mile, that was at the long haul rate. You can clearly see, and I've seen, and you can see to ask other hotshot YouTubers, ask other hotshots, they will tell you that the rate is way better. The rate per mile is way better on local runs, okay? And for so somewhere, somewhere in the middle, we don't know where that is, it starts to like slow down. It doesn't, it's not as good. So you could absolutely get on a hundred miles, three, four, five dollars a mile. Cause a hundred miles, that's only 500 bucks. That, that happens all the time, but you can't get $5 a mile on a cross country, one pick, one drop load. That doesn't happen. You can't get $5 a mile on a cross country, one pick, seven drop load. That doesn't happen either. So keep in mind, just take a screenshot of this chart and keep it in mind. Like this is about the curve that takes place. The further you go, the less per mile the broker pays. Now you can ask them to pay a little more. You can ask them, hey, I usually do this run for this much or, or so on and so forth. Once you get better, once you get a little more experience. But I want you guys to keep in mind that rate per mile and amount of miles is, it's, it, they like, they may play a huge difference. So if you have a lot of miles to do, then it's a lower rate. And if you have a lot of, um, if you get a lot per mile, you're probably not going very far. And so that means whenever there's these, when, whenever other people are saying like, oh, I, I don't take it for less than $4 a mile. Yeah, that means they probably only go 200 miles or something like that, max. Because there's no way someone's paying $4 a mile on a load that's going 1,000 miles. So don't listen to those people that just brag about rates all the time. That's that's not the point of the business. Um, but there are, I can give you some examples. There are situations like truck and travel. First of all, if you guys don't want truck and travel, go subscribe. But, uh, but truck and travel just did a video not too long ago about how they did a container for uh, like 90 miles and it was paying 600 bucks. Like, that's awesome. That's so... There you go. That's like six, almost seven bucks a mile. Like, there you go. That's a perfect example, right? And I've done loads that were going 250 miles. They were paying 800 bucks. That's like 350-ish, close to 350 a mile, you know? So, it, like, the shorter runs pay much more per mile. Now, I've also done loads that's going cross-country, one pick, one drop, buck 60, full trailer like whatever, helicopter blades, whatever it was, something light, something not very big, um, you know, but it's like 30 something feet. And, and so that's why this chart, it represents about how that curve takes place or how they pay, um, how the brokers pay on loads. So I want to hear from you guys. Do you like this chart? Do you agree with it? Do you disagree? Am I way off? Are my rates just stupid, low, stupid, high? Let me know. I want to hear from you guys and don't forget screenshot this chart and th this way this way you won't kind of you won't forget it and you can kind of reference it here and there all right guys thank you so much for watching uh let me know in the comments below what you think about this video and i will see you guys in the next one peace